Today my dad and I took my Home Depot F-15 out for its first flight. It weighs 3 pounds 12 ounces with a 39 inch wingspan and about 55 inches long, 56 inches long. Here you see me setting up for the very first takeoff. I didn't know what to expect, uh, but I had built a couple homies similar in plan form to this that were much smaller. Turned out it uh, handled almost identically to the smaller foamies, except the vertical performance is out of this world with this aircraft. It will accelerate vertically while doing rolls. Here you just see me uh, flying around getting a sense of trim, uh, doing a first uh, flyby, and then pulling up just to see how much power I actually had because I was flying mostly at about a third to a half throttle. This is the uh, first loop and of course I throttled back at the top again trying to be fairly easy on stresses until I gave the airplane a good inspection. This is high alpha flight. Uh, I wanted to check out the slow speed envelope and it was exactly like the little ones. It just uh, sits there and uh, we'll just get into a vertical descent but level and a little wing rock but that's about it. Here I come in for the first landing you'll see this thing really just slows down and you can just land it on a dime. It uh, probably uh, floated only about two or three feet across the grass. We were flying with about a 10 to 12 knot wind today. It was shifty and breezy, so it was a little bumpy. This is the second takeoff. I had a little, I had it trimmed and knew what to expect, so I just did a nice takeoff, accelerated, and then pulled straight up and did some rolls. And uh, again, it will just roll out of sight. I have about five pounds of st static thrust up the 10-7 prop, and uh, again, being under four pounds, uh, three pounds, 12 ounces, it just has more than enough reserve power. Uh, the axle rolls were fairly decent. It doesn't look like I'm going to have to do much in the way of differential. Here's some more high alpha work. I did uh, embed a rudder back in the fuselage box. So it's a semi-rudder thrust vectoring rudder. And the great thing about it is it didn't induce any roll like uh, the rudders I have on my smaller 7 ounce versions of this airplane. Uh, it did do a slow roll but we didn't get that on tape and uh, the thrust vectoring rudder tends to behave just like a regular rudder would. Here you see me doing several rolls. You just saw me do a couple hard pulls at various angles of attack and attitudes. I just wanted to make sure it was gentle. And this is the final landing. Thanks for watching.